Hey y'all, today I wanted to talk to you about impulse spending. It's something I do, not as much as I used to, thank goodness, but it is definitely something you guys need to know about and how I am learning how to deal with wanting to buy things at the last minute that are outside of my plan. Off we go to the Halloween party. Say hi, Melina. Hi. Impulse purchasing is something I do when I am stressed. I don't do it very frequently and I try not to do it at all, but truthfully, it happens more than I would like to admit. At least once a month. When it comes to impulse purchasing, I really only have one piece of advice for you. Wait. Yes, I realize it's logical. Yes, I realize it's not very smart, but it is the one thing that will prevent you from doing it. A couple of tips I have for avoiding spending the extra money. It's not in your budget. You know you shouldn't do it, but you really, really want this thing. So, truth is, it'll still be there. There is almost nothing in the world that will not be there next month. So why not just put it into the budget? I mean, if you want it that badly, just wait. One of the techniques that we actually employ is the shopping cart method. Because we don't really go out and shop hardly at all. We buy almost everything online, with the exception of groceries. When it is time to make a purchase, we put everything in our shopping cart and wait 24 hours. That's for things that are actually in the budget. When it's an impulse purchase, we put it in the cart and we wait. And we have the other person evaluate whether we need it or not. I realize that technique won't actually work for single people, but maybe you can find a friend. No, my hands are not like carrots. Are you gonna eat my camera? Nine times out of 10, that thing is not an emergency. Actually, it's more like 99 times out of 100, that thing is not an emergency. So what we have agreed on is if there is something we really, really want, and it's not in the budget for this month, we just write it into the budget for the next month. What we have is we actually have a wish list. And anytime we run across something in Amazon, because mo we almost buy everything exclusively at Amazon, we put it on the wish list. And then when the next month budget comes, we discuss what's on the wish list and what we want to buy. If randomly there is something that I want to buy that is not on Amazon, I actually use Pinterest for that. And I have a Pinterest, private Pinterest page and I put a link to whatever we want to buy and it's actually called wish list is also. So at the beginning of every month when we're doing our, our monthly budget meeting, we go to those two places and we discuss what's on the wish list, what gets put into the budget. And honestly, I'd say 95% of the time we decide this isn't a priority and it's more important that we pay off debt. The few times I failed miserably at this, I haven't told Mauricio I was going to do it. I just purchased something without asking. And it made me feel horrible, and I kind of felt a little bit like an addict. I'm trying really, really hard to modify that particular behavior in myself. And this technique has worked really, really well the vast majority of the time. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you check out all the people doing this collab. and. Uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!